What is going on, my Super Sandwiches? Rhymes out here today, bringing another Pokemon pack opening. Today, we're jumping into Celestial Storm. As I mentioned in my last video, depending on which video I upload first, in which case you might not have even heard me say it, Celestial Storm is the first set in a long time from more recent sets released in Pokemon that I really, really enjoyed. And I don't, I don't know if it's because they brought back Rayquaza in like a really, really cool way, and they also have some really good hyper rares in the set or what. Probably that, but something about the set feels great. And because of that, I'm probably gonna do a bunch of these openings on the channel over the course of the near future. And if you're okay with that, then what I need you guys to do right now is slap a like on the video to let me know, and I'll make it happen uh, you know, over the course of time. Let me make sure I don't show you the code card. Ah, it's green! I showed you, so I gotta show you the back. There you go. All right, remember, Ryan Style, next pack, flip it around. You know what? Let's actually just fan straight through this because there's not gonna be anything good in here. Let me know. Ooh, I like that Melky Bar at least. What we got? Regirock, Regi Regirock, Regirock. Awesome. Thanks, 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 pack. Thanks, pack. And then cool Pupitar. That's actually a reprint from a long time ago. Okay. Got to make sure that when I jump into the next pack to actually flip it and uh, show you the code card first. That way I don't spoil myself what's in the actual pack. So let's actually slide this out. Turn around. There we go. There's a code card. If you end up redeeming anything, let me know what you pull. And good luck. Hopefully you get something good. Let's do four from the back. I'm not going to do a three and two or four and two because I don't want to accidentally touch uh, the back of the card. So if it is Ridgy, it will t imply that it is something good. I'm always surprised. We're going to do the simple um, four from the back and just... See what's in the last uh, pile. I'll go, uh, pile of the pack. Last pile. Last. The last card in line of the pack. That one. Wow, that was actually really hard to save. Uh, also, again, I just don't like how these cards feel. It's so weird. Oh, upside down. That's cool. And then a uh, Del Mies. Why was this upside down? Clam Pearl. What are you doing, Clam Pearl? Put that over here. So first and second pack seem to have been duds, which is fine. Um, I think because I've been handling vintage packs in the past uh, couple of months-ish, weeks, months kind of, uh, I've been more used to uh, touching those and seeing how they actually feel compared to like the uh, the recent packs that the Pokemon company does. And I swear like nothing is ever going to touch Wizards of the Coast. Like they, their cards have been A1 forever and even to this day still feel great. And then you touch these, it's like, hey, well, what is this? And that almost feels fake, but not really. Like, uh, you know what I'm talking about if you grew up around the game, if you saw the change between Wizards of the Coast to what it is today. Like, it did feel completely different. Um, but that's beside the point because they're still cool cards. Why is it, why are all my cards upside down again? What happened? And then that holographic Del Caddy. That's weird. Two packs back to back. Also, I got Metatide twice back to back too. But two packs back to back featuring. An upside down, whoops, dropped my card. An upside down, um, whatchamacallit, uh, reverse rare, which is really, really weird. Whatever. All right. Rayquaza. There's going to be a hyper rare in this pack. There's about to be a hyper rare, rainbow rare inside this pack. How do I know? Because I, I just know I'm feeling it. I can just feel it. There's a code card if you want to actually redeem that for yourself. Let me know what you pull. As always, so let's do four from the back. We got one, two, three, four. Okay, which hyper rare is it gonna be though? That's the question. Don't be electrode. I don't want electrode again. I've gotten so many electrodes from this set. It's funny because the first time when I was opening these cards a couple of weeks ago, I was like, I was talking about electrode, how I don't want electrode to pop up. And that same pack, electrode popped up at the end of the pack. And I'm like, really? Is this the game we're gonna play? Again, I love the art of these. I don't know which one of these have been actually re released, but oh, Clay Doll. I don't know which one of these have been re-released, but a lot of the art in this set, as well as I think the last set and in Dragon's Majesty, has been has been recycling old art, and I don't know why they're doing that. Again, with Evolution, it was like they're trying to capture uh, the crowd that grew up with the game, like myself, and that was the coolest thing they could have done. But like what they've been doing with 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 this is like I don't know if they're just like lazy or they're just trying to pay homage or they want to just get an easy design out, like which I guess is the same thing as, as being lazy. So it's kind of weird. So let me know what you guys think about that down below. Personally, I love it, but at the same time, I want to see some new stuff. And if you're going to bring back the old stuff, bring back Delta Species, man. Delta Species were great. All right, speaking of Delta Species, here's Lightning. I think uh, they had a Lightning-type Charizard. EX Crystal Guardians, if I remember correctly. Uh, Delta Species, to who don't know, is basically they switched up the, the types for the Pokemon. So, like, you can have, like, a, a Fine-type Horsey, which was a card. They had uh, Electric, um, Electric Rayquaza, which is funny because he's a dragon. Uh, electric, uh, what else did they have? Electric Charizard. They, they, they went all over the right place. They, another upside down reverse rare. What is this? This is so weird now. Is this something that, I'm sure this has been covered in someone's video at some point. Maybe somebody who was doing openings early on probably came across the same issue 
And uh, I'm sure there's an explanation somewhere for it. If there is, feel free to let me know down below. Because I think that's really strange. Now, that's three packs back to back. Now, four packs that featured an upside down uh, reverse rare. And then a regular position, um, whatchamacallit? Regular position, uh, regular rare or hollow rare. Well, the card comes afterwards, that one. Okay, let's see what we got in this next set. We got the Fairy Energy, Rainbow bu Brush, I almost said Bush, uh, Tropius, Marsh Tomp, we got Torchic. I love the art, at least. At least, uh, at least the, the newer ones. All the old ones I automatically love too, because like I said, I grew up with those, but for the most part, another upside down card. You know what? Let's just accept the fact that every single one of these is going to have an upside down reverse rare. I'm going to look up the videos after this because this is weird. I've never seen this. Which means the next batch of packs that I have next to me as well probably also are upside down as well. Because I ca they came from the same like batch of cards that I bought from Troll and Toad. Whatever. It's not like it affects the cards or anything. So as long as, long as the cards are still in good condition, uh, I don't really mind. It's just weird to see that many back to back upside down. Uh, and I'm sure there's a bunch of videos out there from other content creators that have done, that have done the same thing and ran into the same issue. So yeah. All right. Lighting energy, we got rare candy. I think the centering on these are kind of bad from the looks of it. Yep, they are. So hopefully there's nothing good inside this because, unless it's a, a rainbow rare, of course, in which case I think it'll be a different kind of print. But for the most part, uh, all the centering on these look kind of off. This one was normal. And then Reggie Rock. So that one's normal. Of course, when I stop expecting it, it doesn't do it. This game is messing with me right now. Absolutely messing with me. All right, we have three packs left. Three packs left, and so far nothing as far as good pulls, which is really, really weird. Come on, open it up, open it up. My hands feel so dry right now, which is also why these cards feel so slippery. There we go, there's a code card. Um, so, I, and I mean, I don't wanna like, you know, go put on lotion or anything, cause that would just like screw up the cards. But like, I wanna be able to just like, holy, without having to deal with them sliding off, I'm so weird. Uh, whatever. You know what I'm talking about when you're like holding cards or like when you try to read like the paper or something It's like that feel in your fingers. That's that's me right now Spin rack a lot of you guys are probably like what the hell are you talking about rhyme? I don't even know. Okay. I don't even know. Let's just kind of get past it and look at Slackout's butt I still don't know why this is approved like who approved that art. I mean, it's goofy, but like really shep it Trico This is this is a joke right now Oh, We got a rainbow rare <laughs> We got a rainbow rare Stack attacker, stack attacker, rainbow rare. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, again, when I drop my guard completely, of course, of course, that's when a rainbow rare pops up. Pops up. I gotta say though, it's funny, and you know, I feel like it's gonna be all like, oh, we would be ungrateful. Stack attacker is not one that I would love to pull, although I'm sure this could be worth some amount of money because uh, obviously the people who play the game this could be useful. I don't really know yet because I don't even know what the card does. But the one I'm mainful, mainfully going for is the Rayquaza. And if I can get that, I'd be fantastic. But you know what? I'll take I'll take a rainbow rare. You know, it's way better than getting non-rares and uh, or rares and not hollows. I should say, same thing. Hollows and non-hollows, just regular cards. Okay, let's put that to the side over here. So it's not it's not that, that much of a loss. How about that? Although again, I was thrown up by the fact that uh, I had that upside down card in between getting one that wasn't upside down. So it's like I don't even know what's happening right now. Okay, here's the code card again. Let me know what you pull if you end up uh, redeeming that. As always, you can follow me on Twitter, at RhymeStyle. I'm also on Instagram, at RhymeStyle. That's the ones I mainly use. Uh, I don't use anything else other than YouTube. It, Twitter, Instagram, and, and, and YouTube is pretty much all I use. Water Energy, Vigoroth, Nuzzle Leaf, Fiend Ball, or Friend Ball, Slackout's Butt, Love Disc, Electric, Cacnea, Shuppet, the better R for Shuppet, Reggie Ice, and a Grump Pig. I'm probably not gonna get anything else, to be honest, out of this set. I'm probably not gonna get anything else. Last pack before we move on to the next batch. I'll probably upload that next batch in the next day or so. Oh, this is this pack was like it just melted open actually. Uh, make sure I don't reveal the code card because I don't want to know what's inside this, whether it be good or bad. I won't be surprised. Uh, okay, here we go. There's a code card. Put this to the side. One, two, three. Do you guys actually even care about code cards like that? Like I want to know because I can never tell when people actually redeem these or not because it's not like I'm gonna go look them up afterwards to see. If they were used so let me know down below as well because again if you get the codes let me know what you get because it lets me know that people are at least using them oops another reverse upside down look at that and finally article gx okay so we got something else nice again thrown out by the upside down card another card i would love to get uh, even though i already have it is a hyper rare articuno but that's actually cool that is actually cool you know what's funny actually 
This looks better than the actual uh, Hyper Rare version of the car, which I have rarely ever said before. Usually the Hyper Rares always look way better, but the art on this, I feel like they crushed it. They absolutely crushed it. That, that was great. Okay, so looks like we got two decent hits. We got a Hyper Rare Stakataka, and then we got the Articuno GX. But other than that, nothing else too decent. With that said, I do have more packs next to me, which I'm about to literally open right now, and then I'll upload a video the next day or so. So make sure if you enjoy these kinds of videos, you hit that like button below, below right now. Let me know what your favorite car was in the pools, and we'll keep the fun going. But other than that, I hope you enjoy us today. My name is Ram Style. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.